Hello, everyone. Welcome to this Lessons in Leadership. We are talking imposter syndrome. Jonathan, thanks for being with me today. You know, imposter syndrome is something that so many leaders, no matter how successful they are, they struggle with. You know, when those feelings of doubt start to creep in, I'm curious what steps have you found to be effective in managing that? And then also any strategies or mindset shifts that you use to help you navigate it? Yeah, great question. And thanks for having me today, Carrie. I, I think the two things that I've kind of figured out or, you know, come up with my own. And I got to say, first off, when you start asking me about imposter syndrome, I start feeling imposter syndrome because I'm talking to leaders saying, hey, here's how I have figured it out. And I haven't, I, I can't say I figured it out. This is just what works for me. Um, I think a couple of things that work for me really well is understanding my worth and understanding my role. Um, that's really important for me because if I can understand that I'm valuable as a human and everybody else in the room is valuable as a human, then we can all walk into this room on the same level. And it's not like, hey, I'm a leader and, and so I've got this other certain qualification or specialty or something. We're all on, on kind of an equal playing field as far as that. And understanding my role, I think we oftentimes think that as leaders, we have to know everything and we have to be involved with everything and we have to do everything. But I, I had a really great session and this was a mind shift for me. I had a great session early on in my kind of my leadership career uh, at Adobe Max. And it was a guy that was talking from Workfront. I really wish I could use remember his name because I've talked about him for years ever since. Um, but he talked about how as a leader, we can't expect as a creative director, as a marketing leader, whatever it might be, we can't expect to know everything about everything. Otherwise, we become a roadblock for our team. Everything stops with us. We, you know, we're, we always talk about the marketing funnel. When we're talking about our work funnel and everything else, if we're thinking I have to have my hands on everything, then stuff stops with me. So I have to be willing to know my role and be willing to trust my team and say, hey, they know this stuff just as well as I do, oftentimes better than I do. And so I don't have to know everything in the room. I can go back to my team and get input. And then I think the last thing for me is try to view everything as an experiment. Um, Mark Batterson, I think he's a pastor up in the DC area, talks about this, that if we view everything as an experiment, Sometimes we're going to do really great and we can say, man, that was awesome. How can I make it better? Sometimes I'm going to fail and I'm going to say, man, that really stunk, but how can I do it better next time? A lot of times we're going to be right in the middle. We're going to say, well, that wasn't a great win or a great loss, but how can I do it better next time? So those are the few things that work really great for me. I love that idea of thinking of everything as an experiment. You know, early in my career, I had somebody tell me if you start conversations or ideas or brainstormings with this notion of rough draft, then all of a sudden it gives you the flexibility to to brainstorm out loud and to build that collaboration. And I think you were hitting at the same thing. And that really goes back to leadership that, to your point, we don't all have to be the experts. You know, we've got great people on our teams that can help us along the way. So great insights. Thank you so much for your time. And everybody, we hope that you will check out all the other videos in this Lessons in Leadership playlist on imposter syndrome. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Carrie.